Hey, Snacker Stars, it's Brandon from the SAS, the Snack Food Appreciation Society, and welcome to Pizza Night. It's another Frozen Friday. You know what that means. I got something inside of here that came out of the freezer aisle. We'll find out what it is and more right after this on Pizza Night. All right, Snackers, Pizza Night is back. It's another frozen Friday on Pizza Night, and it is Friday night, January the 2nd. Wait, there's no calendar. Oh, yeah, I forgot to get a new calendar this year. But it is Friday night, January the 2nd, 2015. Did I say 2015? Holy crap, I did. As you can see, the calendar has been replaced by a few uh, other pizza and other type of restaurant menus, California Tortilla, Capriati's, uh, Yamazato, of course, the new Pizza Hut flavor of now promotion and more. Uh, if you guys want to see a menu from your neck of the woods on the Pizza Night SAS headquarters wall, just uh, hit me up, send me a line in the comments, and uh, we'll make that happen. All right, let's see what is in the ridiculously expensive Brandon Sack 5000 today. It is. Oh, no. Elio's is back. Or is it Elio's? I don't know. I usually say Elio's, but seeing how there's two L's there and only one E, I guess it's probably Elio's. Pizzeria style thick crust pepperoni pizza. It's a new pizzeria style thicker crust and 33% more cheese. Well, that is a good thing. As you can see, I got the pepperoni version, and they are promising six slices, which is basically two quote-unquote pizzas, three slices each. All right, turn this box over, and they've got a whole story for you here, which I will tell you a little bit more about in a little bit, or you can just pause and read it now if you want. There's your cooking instructions. Uh, of course, I have the notoriously hot oven. Uh, going with the conventional oven directions, preheat to 425. To enjoy a crispy crust, put the pizza directly on a rack. Uh, on the oven rack rather, and then bake for 11 to 12 minutes or until cheese has melted. If you prefer a softer crust, place the pizza on a non-stick baking sheet. Bake for 13 to 14 minutes. I think I'm going with method number two there because I do like my crust a little bit softer. All right. Let me go ahead and get one of these quote unquote pizzas out of the box and show you what it looks like before it goes into the oven. All right, this is what the Elio's Pizzeria style thick crust pizza looks like out of the box before it is cooked. As you can see, uh, lots of sauce peeking up through the cheese. So if there's 33% more cheese on there, there must not have been a lot of cheese on the Elio's pizza before. Of course, I have reviewed the original Elio's pepperoni pizza previously, and that review is available on the SAS Snacks YouTube channel. Uh, you got six pieces of pepperoni on there. Basically, you're supposed to slice these into thirds. Uh, I don't think so. I think I'm going to be cooking both of these things, as you can see. Not real big. This box costs $3.69 at my local giant food store. And uh, I'm not terribly excited about this, but what can I tell you? It's rent week, right? right? Alright guys, I'll be right back to show you the finished product right after this and more on pizza night all right the pizza is done and as you can see i did go ahead and cook both quote unquote pizzas or slices of pizza and you don't know how big my hand is so when i do this you know i guess it really doesn't make much difference but i do actually have a ruler here and i can measure it now of course i've always said that elio's or elio's pizza whatever it's called actually reminds me of school pizza in particular uh, junior high school pizza from uh, Francis C. Hammond Junior High School, uh, the uh, home of the uh, Admirals. I think actually they're called the Anchors now, but anyway, I don't know. Uh, so I've also had this particular ruler <clears throat> since uh, junior high school at Hammond Junior High. As you can see, some things I liked at the time. Beastie Boys is what that's supposed to say. I uh, don't know what I did there. Black Sabbath. Yes, I was in the Sabbath in seventh grade. <clears throat> There's a Twisted Sister uh, insignia, and yes, of course, Hulk Hogan. So, yep, I was right along with every uh, 80s kid, I guess. Anyway, uh, there you go. That's the Elio's pizza cooked. I, I ended up letting it go for about 10 minutes 
rather than the prescribed 13 to 14. And I think it did a pretty good job. Uh, the, pe the, the pizza, the um, cheese is starting to get a little bit brown. It's not 100% melted and congealed together in some places, but I have a feeling it would look like this even if I put it in there for an hour. Uh, as you can see, some of the pepperonis are starting to brown there on that one. And uh, if you look at the bottom of the crust, yeah, it's done. So anyway, I did it on the uh, pan, like I told you, and it turned out uh, pretty good, I would say. I'll be right back to taste this pizza, give it a rating, and tell you more about it on Pizza Night. All right, guys, I'm back, and, uh, you know, I started rambling about the ruler. The whole reason I had the ruler was to measure the stupid pizza, not to, um... <laughs> not to tell you the history of the ruler but anyhow uh, this pizza is 8 inches by about 4 inches so 8 by 4 for what they call a pizza and then that would make each slice about oh what's it 4 by 2 or 2 and a half something like that if I'm seeing the perforations properly Anyhow, so yeah, it's kind of odd that they call these pizzas and say that there's six slices. These is more, this is more like two big slices of pizza, if you ask me. All right, so let me go ahead and pick up one of these right here. I'm not going to bother with cutting them into slices. I'm not some kind of guy that needs to do that, right? No, I'm not. All right, uh, like I said, the pepperoni was starting to brown on this other one. Not so much on this one. Oh, well, a little bit right there, and uh, you can't really see what I'm talking about, but I showed you quite extensively before what it looked like. All right, guys, let me go ahead, take a bite of this pizza from Elio's on Frozen Friday. All right, here we go. Let me go ahead and give it a shot. One more bite. Mmm, now that's good. Now, in terms of the pizza, not the drink, the pizza is just all right. $3.69 for two big pieces of pizza like this is actually a pretty good bargain, and this tastes better than, say, Mama Celeste, either their French bread or regular variety. I think this also tastes better than uh, Toasty to Totino's or Tony's Pizza. So in that aspect, it's pretty good. The uh, new thicker crust is noticeably thicker. It's more of a mouthful. It's more bready. Uh, it actually reminds me even more so of that very, very bready, uh, almost cardboardy, uh, school pizza that I was talking about earlier because it does match that consistency particularly on the top part of the crust where it meets the sauce and the cheese and gets moist it gives you a, that exact feeling that you're sitting at the table you know in eighth grade and you got a guy sitting there you know rapping about pizza graters and all kinds of stuff and you got fights going on over there with the assistant principal getting his ass whooped for uh, touching some guy's milk. Uh, these are all true stories, by the way. But I digress. The pizza, uh, I didn't notice that there was any more cheese on it than uh, any other Elio's or Elio's pizza. And I'll be damned if I know which one it is, guys. I think it's Elio's. Um, the pepperoni, eh, kind of just there. It had a little bit of a porky flavor, a little bit. Uh, I'm sure it's your beef, pork, and uh, chicken mixture that you typically get in most frozen pizzas. Um, it was neither great or terrible. Of course, the school pizza, they always had the little crumbles of pepperoni rather than uh, actual slices of pepperoni. So that's an improvement over school pizza, if you ask me. Uh, the sauce, kind of sticky, um, clumpy, not a real wet sauce, uh, kind of a dry sauce, if you ask me, if that makes any sense and also kind of acidic and salty. Uh, not the best part of the pizza for sure. I think the best part of the pizza is probably the crust, and I think I compared that to cardboard. So this isn't great, but it's not terrible. 
I'm going to go ahead and give it a half of a thumb up. Nice try, but, uh, you know, like I said, not terrible for the first pizza night of 2015. I've got all this pizza to eat here for my pizza night. I'm going to be sure to douse it in Cholula and some of these hot pepper flakes, ground black pepper, and maybe even some of this oregano here. So, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, hope you guys had a good New Year. My New Year, I went to bed early. I wasn't feeling that great, so I just went to bed early. But I'm feeling better now. Sleep does wonders. Uh, if you want to join the SASR group on Facebook, you can do so by clicking on the link down below. Over 340-something of the coolest people in the whole world are in our group, and uh, that number grows just about every day. Also, uh, follow me on Twitter at BrandonReichSAS. Hashtag on all of our correspondence is Snack Society, so you know where to find us on the Twitter machine, as well as on Instagram, where you can find me at Brandon Reich SAS as well. Um, be sure to get in your questions for the Q&A video. We're talking about filming that as soon as this weekend, if we get enough questions. So uh, leave them in the comments down below or on the Facebook page, which, like I said, you can get to by clicking on the link in the description down below. Leave a comment. Uh, tell me what you think about this pizza. Have you had it before? Was it good? Did it suck? Let me know. What else should I review for pizza night coming up in 2015? Let me know that, too. I'm running out of gas, guys. I gotta go. In the meantime, in between time, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.